Hi tribe, welcome back to my channel. So what happened was I set everything up and then Stan came out, which I really truly appreciate, but that wasn't the plan. So the lightning will be very interesting today and I guess we'll roll with it because why not? Now one thing, a lot of people have asked me lately to pass messages from spirit. How I want you to approach this reading is first off, think of your deceased or your angel, or your demon, or your ancestors, or your ascended master, whatever energy or whoever you want to connect with, think of that first before you pick your pile. Another thing, I'm not going to give you any objects or any cards to choose from. And a lot of people hate it, but I think that's just another thing where you can practice your intuition and truly dig deep there rather than just pick in by what's in front of you and just looks nice. Uh, so what I want you to do is to close your eyes, sit back, relax and think of numbers. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Which number stands out for you the most or which number you've seen throughout the last week the most? You'll find your answers there. There might be two piles that you've been drawn to and it's fine. Maybe you should listen to both. So we're going to start with pile number one. I'm going to start with channeling and we'll go from there. What they're showing me, I'm going to say they because I don't know which energy you asked uh, messages from in particular. Um, they're showing me an object from your childhood. So you might want to look, um, they're saying there is a message for you or you'll come up with some kind of an idea or you'll find your answer where you store your, ch your childhood toys. But I don't see a toy though. What I do see is a piece, it's, it's a round object and it's a piece of something. So it's not gonna be the same thing obviously for every single one of you here, but what I want you to take out of this is to maybe go through old stuff that you have stored somewhere. And the spirit is basically saying, and we'll go from there. We will go from there. So you might pick information up that you need it. It's something about that object that is gonna give you answers of some sorts. And I saw a little truck, like a little car or a little truck, um, a bit like monster truck, but a mini version of a monster truck, okay? So there's something in your old toys or there's something in stuff that's being stored somewhere. We're talking a lot about childhood here from the spirit, so um, you need to bring your inner child out more, pile number ones. Um, it's saying you, you've forgotten how to play. When you grew up, throughout that maturing phase of yours, you might have forgotten how to play. And now it's all about wonder work and uncertainty that you might be concentrated on it's saying learn how to play how how to approach life from a really light-hearted mindset i feel like some of you have a lot of repressed emotions and you're not letting it out you might have walls up 
when it comes to rom rom romance especially someone is afraid to trust relationships or to trust people romantic connections um, someone has something that happened in the childhood where if your relationship is not working out it's saying the way you want it to be look back to your childhood and what kind of influence you had there because childhood references are pretty strong for part number one we're gonna be using the Rebecca Campbell's Oracle deck and let's see what kind of vibration you should be heading to what kind of vibration you should be heading to let me roll them down I don't know how loud it's gonna be on camera a new path whoa it's happening keep holding the vision I truly love this card for pile number one let me show it to you because it's talking about you needing to zoom out in your life and start looking at everything that's happening around you from a higher perspective so zoom out I'm hearing and look at everything as a stranger what would strangers say about your life? Because you piles number one have to be proud of what the heck it is that you do in your life and how you are. And maybe you've lost it over time. Maybe you think that you're not enough. Maybe you think that you're not doing a well enough job. It's saying, believe me, you are. And it seems like a lot of people, a lot of people look up to you. But when it comes to your circle, maybe not everyone expresses that you truly hold some kind of inspiration in you and naturally and i think maybe you don't understand that sometimes some of you have issues when it comes to protecting your energy field okay and the spirit what it's saying here how you can protect yourself from the energies that you don't want or uninvited um, energies of some sort is by staying grounded now this might be see this might seem like a little thing pile number one but it truly has a massive impact when it comes to how you'll feel and people ask me a lot hey how can i protect my energy or how can i not feel as much as i as i do uh, and that's not coming from me, it's coming from other people around me. Um, the answer is staying grounded, but also trusting where the heck you are being led to. Even even right now, Spirit saying, even if right now you have no idea where it is that you're going to be in five years time, it doesn't matter, I'm hearing it doesn't matter because it's all about the journey for pile number ones. And throughout the journey, you're going to have to learn how to be grounded. I would say I have a vision of someone standing barefoot on the grass. Go outside if you can and stand barefoot. Well, that's going to be a little bit strange if people will, be, will see you. But I would say go to a remote place and hold your hands up, you know, as if you allow everything to, to soak in the sun rays the nature the breeze the wind everything have to connect with the earth and become one in order for you to protect your energy field from unwanted even unwanted spirits i feel like some of you do tend to see spirits sometimes let me have a sip of water because my mouth is dry okay let's take a look at some other things for pile number one what i'm getting intuitively pile number one you might be a, a little bit confused and you're like but this has been going on like i can't find my answers for x amount of time and it's saying the spirit is saying why are you looking for answers take the step towards where your happiness lies so for some people it's going to be a relationship uh, meeting a person or visiting a person that you miss for some others of you this might be a trip for some others of you it might be a new career path it's saying where ask yourself a question where don't you feel a hundred percent if you don't feel hundred percent 
even in someone's company here, you don't have to stay there. You're choosing to stay there. But we don't keep you in places like that, in situations like that. You are the creator of your own life, pile number one. And I truly think that you might have forgotten about it. Where are you headed towards, too? I'm going to show you cards as I speak, okay? Where are you headed towards to pile number one? Where are you heading towards to pile number one? Okay, the world needs to see you, pile number one. And I'm hearing, I don't care how you're going to do this. The world needs to see your identity. So do you want to be visible? Do you want to spread the word? But how you're going to do this is by having this, you're going to have this phase in your life where you're going to have to juggle two things at once, where you have, you'll have to be very persistent and you'll have to be, you'll have to have a lot of stamina here. You'll be like, I don't care what happens but i'm just gonna resist and i have a vision it's about resistance um you being tested how resistant you can be it's saying because your success is on the other side of a struggle which we all get but i don't know for you it's somehow um it might be your karmic lesson of some sorts like how are you gonna pull through or you're gonna say like you know what i'm tired or you know what i'm unsure and you're gonna sit back you know because your success is nearly there and what i'm getting here you're gonna have to be courageous pile ones there's no way that you're gonna have to hide in the shadow it's saying okay show your true identity Release the oppressed emotions and don't be afraid to be vulnerable in front of others' eyes because that's partly your journey to grow. And and there is a fly outside my window now, and I've noticed it. Usually I don't I don't notice flies that much, but maybe I'll look up the spirit spiritual meaning of a fly yourself and see what it has to say there for you sorry the camera is a bit funny you might be drawn to another country and i think there's something there for you those who are planning or those who feel like there is something that you need to take from another country or to experience from another country it seems like there was a country or a place where you lived in your past life and you've been drawn to it in your future and the spirit is saying go ahead why i'm saying that because we have the world we have the six of cups and we have the knight of wands which is the knight that for me talks about you know like what's up there you know what 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 does that place have to offer for me so if you're being drawn to another country, and again, with a new earth, we have the world over here. Someone is looking and trying to decide what the heck they want to be. Before you go on this journey, the spirit is saying what you have to do first is to learn how to protect your energy from the unwanted sources or unwanted people. Okay, so you're going to have to learn how to do that. It's saying also pay attention, pile number ones, to what you put in your body, what you indulge in. And as I said, that ten of swords came out. Um, your health is something that you have to pay attention to. And don't get stuck in the pitiness. And some of you have learned that already. So if you did, it's saying it's like a pat on the back for you. Like proud of, pr proud of this basically, okay? Right now, the spirit is saying is your time of analysis, of stepping back and saying, hey, where the heck I'm being drawn to, without getting intellect in the way. What I mean by that, so example, if I'll decide tomorrow that I want to, or, or if I'll start talking about moving to Egypt, 
and I'll be drawn to Egypt for an X amount of time. You know, there's something there for me. Like, I don't know what exactly. I don't know why the heck. I don't know people there. But I'm being drawn to Egypt, for example, right? And I think some of you do have a connection with Egypt here somehow. Maybe your ancestors were from there. In general, I'm getting that vibe of... I'm hearing Hebrew. Hebrew. It's, um, it's very ancient. It's very ancient. And what I'm getting here, it's saying, this is your time to pay attention to your urges. What are you being drawn to? Even if your intellect would be like, but you don't know anyone there, um, how you're going to get there, I'm scared of going alone or I'm scared of exploring different culture, I'm unsure. So you're going to have to learn how to fight your own demons, this is saying here, and your own fears in order to have a very successful life, okay? So let's take a look at... What potential you hold in you? Really? Six of, of wands? You know what that's talking about? That's talking about you being... What did I say? When I said that you have to be visible for the public, for, you have to be visible in the world. You, you have to be the out there in the world. We have six of wands and the world here. This is talking about even for some of you fame. Like you're gonna have to be out there for people to be someone that people can reach out to and someone that people look up to. So whatever the journey you're on right now, which other phase of that journey you're on right now, the thing that you have to remember the spirit is saying that you're going to have to be an example for people. If you want to be the example for people, what you're going to have to go through is to fight your own demons, fight your own fears, because how else then you can be an example for others? Does it make sense, pal number one? We have a lot of world references here. We have a lot of exploration references here, as if spirit wants you to go somewhere, visit someone, or start something new without ego getting in the way because ego is also fear you know like what if I'm gonna screw up what if what if and it's saying you, you you'll probably do it quicker than you think or universe and your guides your spirit will make sure that things happen the way they have to happen and for some of you it might happen a bit quicker than you have planned Take action, pile number one. The spirit wants you to take action. Would it be a new path that you're taking? Would it be you even creating, I don't know, a vlog or blog or YouTube channel or whatever it is that that's to do with the world? You know, it can be also international cooperation of some sorts that you uh, want to apply and have a job in, you know? So anything of that sort, it's saying go for it because your path is... Also connect with your with your ancestors because it's a big deal here. And I think for some of you, these are the ancestors that you've asked about. Your ancestors, you see, they were that threshold, that, that gate for other people. So they had something for people to offer. But that was very closely related to some kind of inspiration or uplift in humanity as a whole. So I truly hope that this made sense, pile number one. I apologized about the sunlight and I'm going to catch you next time. Bye for now. Hello, pile number two people. So let's take a look at what your guides want to say. Ooh, pile number two. It's not going to be for all of you, but what I'm getting is there's a lot of masculine energy for pile number two. So whatever spirit you're connecting with here or whoever as deceased, they held a lot of masculine in them. Whoa, these, these spirits, I'm saying spirits because I'm talking to many, it's a collective. They're very strong, guys. Um, 
a lot of masculine energy here. But what they saying, they want you to understand that staying in the masculine for too long is not healthy for you. So as an example, that would be female who is very focused on business or on career and she's not taking care of her other parts of personal life, meaning relationships, would it be romantic? Would it be family? So what this spirit is saying in particular, do not stay in your masculine for too long or vice versa. If you a male watching this, do not stay in your feminine for too long. And the feminine is all about feels and intuition and being and that inner beauty and, and inner power, right? Some of you are truly too much in one energy. And it's saying that's why pay attention which part of your life is not working out the way you want it to be. Okay, because the part that is not working out for you the best is the part that needs attention. So especially those who are very business minded or driven, it's saying, have you invested the same amount of time in other aspects of your life? I hope it's making sense. Oh, that's a strong one. Empress, Emperor vibe here. Okay, let's see. What kind of energy you should aim to be in? I keep getting, you guys want to con take control of your life and you want to be the best, right? But the leader is the one that has made many mistakes. And leader does, doesn't rush things. Take a look at all of those successful people. They had to sacrifice quite a lot to get where they want to be. Failure after failure after failure. And it's saying, take your journey easily. Take it easy. And we do have the baby steps card. It says, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. right? Follow your intuition before it makes sense where you're going exactly. And that's what people, that's a very important part of a journey. And that's what people sometimes don't understand. That it's not about realizing right now. The Spirit is saying it's not about realizing right now. Where are you going to be? What's, that, what's your long-term goal? but more so about getting those little things fixed right now that are around you, that are closer to you because goal is very far away, right? And you might even change your mind about how you want to accomplish that goal in the long run. So why don't you focus on the journey right now? Very simple things, for example, like right now, I want to, I don't know why I have an urge to look up recipes and then you start browsing recipes and from from browsing and from research you come up with different ideas and you're like whoa maybe I could have my own recipe you know maybe I should start cooking more or maybe I should do this and that and it's from little things that you truly are being guided where you're supposed to be because this is saying you might be overly focused on the finish line. And that's the only blockage for success for pile number two is because you have a very strong energy, believe me. This might be one of your karmic lessons here to learn because it's saying you've done this before. We have lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You have done this before. So maybe you just need a reminder for yourself, pile number two sometimes, to truly take a step back and say to yourself, hey, okay, let's not overwork myself. Let's not overfocus on this relationship. Let's take a step back. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. File two. File two. Pile two. Yeah, there are some kind of um, self-inflicted addictions here that not helping you in the long run. And those don't have to be overly toxic, right? Like whatever that addiction is, it can be addiction to a person, addiction to looking at other people's lives, how they've done it. And constantly comparing yourself to other people. So that is some kind of a mindset that you have to get rid of, it's saying. If you did, that's your big pat on the back. Whatever is a repetitive action that's not helping you out to reach your best potential, Spirit is saying, it has to go and you know it already. I think some of you have faced it already and some of you are like, God, I know, don't tell me about this anymore. Don't remind me. Okay. You have to listen to your moon pile number twos. You have to, someone is being stalked or someone is stalking a year and I don't think it's the best thing. This might be one of the toxicities here that you might be dealing with. So it might be you stalking or asking about someone uh, or being overly concentrated about someone or something or it can be someone else. I do have this stalking, en stalking energy here for pile number twos so maybe someone has an eye on you or you have an eye on someone and it has become this pattern where someone can get out of it like obsession I'm hearing okay pile number twos you or someone else is obsessed I'm hearing and it's not the best best thing here Yeah, defo. Someone has to let go of some kind of pain here. Pile number two, is it saying? For some others, I'm hearing um, the spirit is saying, I've seen you struggle for this. I've seen you coming out for this. I've seen this struggle, but now it's time to rise up. Okay, I've seen your especially mental struggle to deal with this situation, but now it's time to get the fuck up on your feet. And I'm sorry, some of you is going to be harsh, but that's exactly how they'd say it. Because someone has done, a re was in this pity state or has been stuck in this unhealthy mindset for too long. Now it's saying it's time to wake up and it's time to get your life on track because you are emperors and empresses, pile number two. Don't you ever forget that. How will your successful life be like, spirit? What should you be reaching for? Okay, in order for you to, to be successful, it's saying you're going to have to start a new job or you're going to have to start a new career. Starting over or accepting new opportunities. Fresh. So maybe whatever you add right now, it, and it would make a lot of sense, is not the best place for you to be because that guy is in suitcase and he's lying on the floor. Is in suitcase, I said? Is in suit and he's lying on the floor. But there is a suitcase there. What's wrong with me? Pile number two. Yeah, and what universe is offering you, what spirit guides are saying or whatever spirit you're asking about here it's saying finish something that is not good for you and start fresh there is this massive urge and you're being pushed towards a new phase of your life pile number twos It's saying enough of overeating, over drinking, over doing something. Some of you might be doing that too. And it's time to... I'm hearing clean slate. Mm -hmm. 
for a lot of you, this whole situation and this whole rant from spirit is about a connection or relationship. Let me have a sip of water. Sorry, I'm eating there mentally. Leave. <laughs> mm. I'm just gonna say it. For a lot of you, spirit wants to get to cut off unhealthy relationship patterns. I'm hearing it's enough. It's enough. Some others of you, this is your own approach to life that isn't healthy for you because you gotta seek for this empress or emperor vibe that you have about you. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. Okay, let me see. Future of. Future of pile number two. Future. You're gonna take some kind of a trip, pile number twos, or you move in somewhere. For a lot of others, I'm hearing you're gonna learn how to move on without grudges. Learn how to move on. And I'm getting shivers right now. You'll concentrate on those people. Um, you'll concentrate on getting as much as you give out, and that's something that's in your future. You're going to meet a lot of people who are very caring and very loving for pile number two. You're gonna have those people that you deserve, this is saying, but I think you already have a lot of them around you. It might be just one person or one situation that is not giving you peace of mind. And you're moving on from it in the future. You're much, much happier, pile too, because I think you'll remember, I think some of you have gone through this already. You'll remember those times that you were like in that in the same, I'm seeing a circle and something's happening again and again and again, where one day you, you'll explode or you have exploded already and you go like, nah, not dealing with this anymore. There's a lot of love for you in the future. A lot of love. And if you do not like your home right now, you're going to have a home that is very cozy. This is for those who are planning. I think someone is buying a house, pile number two. Someone is buying a house or investing in something big. And it's a big deal. Like... This is a big deal, pile number twos. It's like you are rebuilding, the Spirit is saying you're rebuilding your stability and your future, but it's not only about those, you know, little things where you change your mindset. It's not only about that. By changing your mindset or by getting rid of that devil energy here, what you truly gain in here is a completely new self. And... What I mean by that, you're going to be probably a bit more focused on what you want from life, what you seek for. I think you will become a little bit more, you're very confident in the future. So if you do have any confidence issues right here, you dress differently even. You take care of your hair more. You take care of your, the way you look more. You have your head held high, a little bit like this queen of pants here. Okay, she's very proud of what she has. And I think that's the energy that you're stepping into pile number twos in the future. But before that, as a lot of people have to go through these challenges in life, before that, you're leaving your old self behind that. Old self is not serving you anymore. And a lot of you have done this already. In this lifetime... You're getting a chance to do something that you've done in your past life already, before, and to do it much better. You're getting a chance to improve yourself in one aspect in your life. So, if you were someone who was a workaholic, if you were someone who, was, who had uh, codependencies and relationship, you're starting over. In this lifetime, lifetime you are given another chance 
to be better, to do better. But the problem here is, the trick here is that you're gonna be thrown those temptations on your way and it's like universe and your spirit is watching how you're gonna deal with that. You're a little bit like as if someone would watch from up here and say, hey, you've been in this energy for too long. It's your time to shift it up. You know, it's your time to go. Um, I really, I truly feel happy for pile number two because it seems like a lot of you, I do see you writing things down as well. Um, what it is that is holding you back from having a fulfilling relationship or better career here? What's holding you back? What kind of fear is there in you? Fear of opening up, fear of being vulnerable, fear of failing, fear of not earning enough. And I think for that analysis, you're going to step, step your game up, pile number two. You're finding your way back to your balance and back to your true self. You're finding your way back, okay? You're finding your way back to what truly... You're rediscovering what your balanced life, balanced life feels like to you. So we're talking to someone who has been through quite a lot here, pile number two. And it seems like what you didn't understand, I think, and what you might still need to understand is that you're being looked after. And you're being looked after by energies from up there. And you might even feel them sometimes. So if you're being looked after, what is it for you to be afraid of, this is saying? Because you have done this before. You have done this before. Action. Pile number two, you need to take action. It says, follow your gut before it makes sense. You have a really good intuition. Pile twos, we have a moon here too. It's saying, your intuition is the guide in this lifetime and it's up to you if you're going to listen to it or not. Because you're given, you are given this opportunity, you're given this heightened intuition, right? Even if you don't practice or you don't train your intuition as much, uh, you're given that heightened intuition and it's for a reason. It's in order for you to find your way back home, I'm hearing, to find your way back home. And wherever home is, it feels really peaceful, okay? Um, I'm getting a lot of water or a lake of some sorts around there. The nature is very peaceful. I'm a very like... Um, Landscapes are aesthetically pleasing, even if it's a city. Um, there's a good balance between the green and the concrete, if that makes sense. It's aesthetically pleasing, but it also has a very good vibe. So I hope it made sense, pile number two. If you want to see more content like this, uh, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you next time. Bye, everyone. Hello, pile number three people. So let's start with channeling before we get into your reading, okay? Ooh, grandma came through. Someone's grandma came through straightforwardly, but that's probably for like one or two of you here. Now, what, what I'm hearing, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm hearing there was a reason for you to see it. So you saw something specifically very connected to birds, very connected to 
any kind of creature really that has wings and I think some of you do have wings somewhere tattooed there was a reason it's saying I, I think we are it's a heavy mediumship pile like heavily mediumship is coming through so I would say someone is really wanting to connect to your deceased for others of you what I'm getting here um, when I connect to your spirit that you're asking about is I keep seeing a, a, a sky full of stars like a Milky Way it's saying you can find answers there so maybe truly look at that um, what star is there uh, and by the way there is an app I think now there is an app that tells you what star you're looking at, which is really interesting. I don't remember the name of it. I'm sorry, I just saw it very briefly. Maybe look up that app. You might find answers in what that star is. That This is a very deep pile. Pile number three. Is... Hmm. Someone was a mus musician or someone is trying to... It's very specific, it's not for all of you. Or is trying to make their way... They're trying to be successful in the music industry. Or for some others, you every time you need an answer, you'll get it through music. So Archangel is coming through here. Archangel, Archangel Gabriel is coming through here for me. Mm -hmm. What did I say about those stars? Look, this person is laying literally floating up in the air. And look at those stars, how beautiful this is, right? Your spirit guides or your deceased, whoever you're asking about here, they, they want you to step up your game and lead in this lifetime. You may be a little bit fearful of leading. You do have roots in Asia when it comes to your ancestors or your past lives here um asian roots i'm hearing okay someone's totem is a serpent snake right and do you remember oh shoot do you remember how i said the wings and i pulled card from sorry let me show you rebecca campbell's deck and we do have priestess that has wings coming it's like coming from her shoulders and from her hands so you do have some kind of hidden talents pile number threes that relate to leadership you have to be leaders in this lifetime however you wanna create it for yourself Whatever you do, you're going to firstly go for awakening, this is saying, and it's not going to be fun and games. Like in this card, awakening usually, usually looks um, very crazy and very messy, and it's just like, what the fuck is going on? Um, you'll go through different awakenings, and you might be going through one right now where you might be a bit lost, and you're like, I don't know, like this is too much, too many downloads and too much of this and that. It's saying this is for your own good because you got to be the priestess or the, the leader of some sort. It doesn't matter even if you're masculine watching this. You got to be the leader. In order for you to be a leader, this is saying we're going to give you a lot of awakenings because you have to go through all of this in a shorter time frame in order for you to be allowed to teach. Pile 
listen someone has anxiety here someone is in a low mind space the spirit is saying look forward don't look backward there is nothing in the past for you do you get it there is nothing in the past for you the moment you step in the past or in the future either one is when you will bring that anxiety out of yourself depression out of yourself um I'm hearing loss. Some of you might have lost someone or some of you might have lost something. It's saying there is no need for you to look. Someone has a tough grandma or tough mother, mother figure here who's saying, hey, there's nothing there for you. Move on, move on, move on. I'm hearing. This is whatever spirit we're talking about. Um, whoever you asked about or whatever you asked about, they really want you to work it, like work it. They're saying, you're going to have to be a leader, now work it. So like, you know, I'm seeing a vision of someone being in the bed, not wanting to get up for something or feeling very discouraged. And this spirit is like, as if they, you know, the next to you, right? Next, I literally have a vision, so a spirit next to your bed, like tapping their feet saying, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, you know, because you have to learn so much in this lifetime for a shorter period of time um, where there's a lot waiting out there for you, pile number threes. <laughs> you have a very impatient, impatient ancestor or deceased person or a spirit that really wants you to pull through. <laughs> wow. We are saying it's all in your knowledge. So if you're looking for an answer, it's all in your head. I'm seeing literally a vision. Someone saying it's all in your head. You're going to have to find answers there. You know it already. You know it already. You know what to do. You know where to go. You know how to even manipulate people if you need to. Not that the Queen of Swords is manipulative, but I do pick it up intuitively. You need to understand that you need to accept help as well from other people. So don't be afraid of, of connecting with people who can help you out in certain matters here. A lot of feminine energy is coming through here for pile number threes and doesn't matter you male or female it's saying there's gonna be a very strong connection between the two and those two people they don't necessarily have to be different sex right uh, two queens for example but they will hold both of them will hold Mm. a lot of the masculine or a lot of the feminine right so both of them will hold for example we have two feminines here so if we have the masculine and the feminine the male and the female sorry um they both will hold more of the feminine so they might be both very intuitive or very like What's the word I'm looking for? Error. Very focused on, I'm hearing this self-power. And again, female can get whatever the heck she wants, right? She does have advantage when it comes to that, specifically when it comes to wrapping men around the finger. You gotta understand that, guys, that sometimes I think that Females undervalue themselves, if that makes sense. So your power lies also in your femininity. So it might be your intuition, even if you're masculine watching this, right? You're a bit of, you do have this energy of you guys, I think someone would be very suitable working in CIA, honestly. Like, you have a very strong, strong energy here. Um, strong analytical mind. Um, 
you know how to get what you want, pile number three. So I think that's something that maybe some of you need to be reminded of. The Spirit is saying, remember, I'm hearing chin up high or chin up, you know, and I'm hearing that as if someone would say it in my ear, chin up, right? So someone needs to Pile number three is you're very seductive. Would it be? Would would you be male watching this? Would it be female watching this? You're very seductive, and your sp spirit that you're asking about, or the um, deceased, you, do you connecting with? They saying that you need to find. Your power in your femininity or in your in your in your art of seduction. I don't know. I don't know pile number three, but you do have this. You you attract people like magnet. Okay, and that magnetic energy is given for you, given to you for a reason. So make it work for the best, but don't misuse it. Does it make sense? Don't misuse it, but use it because I feel like some of you don't use it at all. So for some others, it just has to do with self-image. Maybe you don't see yourself as handsome or as worthy or as beautiful as you truly are as a human being. So that's an, a reminder for you what to seek for a place. Mm -hmm. even this knight of cups look how seductive she looks like it never focuses guys let me try but let's see never fully focuses but you see she's got her hair falls on one part of her face she's very seductive she's very like i know where i'm going kind of thing you know so Hmm, very interesting. I'm sorry about any background noises. If you're gonna hear that pile number three, but I couldn't avoid it because I needed to charge my phone, so I couldn't plug in my mic. <sighs> yeah, you guys have this magnetic uh, ma magnetic attraction, and you're gonna have to use it in your life. Now, what's happening in the future for pile number three? What I'm hearing is that. You might want to, you, you got this vibe about you that's very analytical. You have to analyze something, pile number three. Something that's still hidden in you that you didn't discover. Or I think some of you have repressed your sexuality and it's a big thing for pile number three. See... Some of you, I feel like you're doing it on purpose. And what this is saying, you have to find the balance between the two. Um, how can you be sexually open, right? And how, to, how can you explore your sexuality, but at the same time be grounded and not overly focused on that? So where's the balance? Is it zero or is it hundred? You know, so it's... A lot of you need to pay attention to your root chakras here. And see what you've neglect neglected in your life. Which part of your life have you neglected here, I'm hearing? Mm. Some of you have hidden some kind of a heartbreak. And you dug it deep. You dug your feelings really deep down there and you don't want them to come out. So some of you truly have to go out there and explore relationships that not only talk about those. Okay, there is a situation. For example, someone goes out or someone goes for dinner, um, whatever the situation, and they meet the opposite sex or the same sex. Um, and they being seduced by someone or someone's hidden on them, right? 
and this person truly likes this other person but in their mind they keep think they start thinking about is this person marriage material and it's like everything like this whole scenario like rolls from their head where what if what if this situation is allowing you to have good company and not overly focus on the end goal. Does it make sense? So it's something about here you I think you need to heal your heart through allowing yourself to connect with people who are showing you attention because you do have quite a lot of people I think that show you attention but you brush them off. It's part of a journey, this is saying pile number three is okay. These people are part of your journey and um, in order to heal your heart from whatever has happened in the past, doesn't matter would it be romantic connection or would it be family or friends, right? Whatever has hurt you, you're going to have to connect with people and you're going to have to explore different opportunities and be open-minded, this is saying, okay? Don't only focus on something how you want it to be. Try new things out, this is saying. Some of you want to travel. Some of you want to go to a different place or a place where you're not... The culture is different, I'm seeing here, okay? You might be drawn to a person even over there or you might be drawn to go in there. It's saying whatever the case here, wherever you've been drawn to go in, it seems like there is something out there for you in order to grow as a person or to learn from. Keep wanting to pull from this deck. Let's do this. Pile number threes. Okay, let's see. Yeah. This is saying you're gonna have to hold the torch for everyone else who's following you. So in order to do so, you have to face your fears. Cause we have the priestess here and the leader is always the one that goes through quite a lot and it's saying you're holding this light for other people you have your book of experiences here you are the one that people will follow so in order to do so you're gonna get there this thing you get into the place where you want to be your life is much more structured in the future than it was before you what i'm paying attention to in this emperor card is the shield over there right you see that shield it's talking about you overcoming any obstacle that you were thrown in your way in order to sit on that throne and your life in the future looks like someone really wants a fireplace in their home um sorry but that wasn't unexpected but You see, seeking for clarity. It's like you're very analytical. You're very analytical about your own self. You're very analytical about every everyone else and how they're being treated by other people and what they want from life. And you do give amazing advice, pile number threes. But this is saying, let yourself lose sometimes. You're very focused on how you have this image of yours that is perfect or this person who doesn't make such and such mistakes where you have to explore yourself as a person you have to throw yourself in situations that you have never been before in order to get on that throne because you're going to deal it's saying you're going to deal with people who will need your guidance and in order to do that you're going to have to you'll have to go through all of that already yourself not all of it but similar situations so practice makes perfect i'm hearing for pile number three um this is a big leadership pile honestly i think you could even come up with your own courses or your own workshops or your own business of some sort pile three whoop card on the floor excuse me okay let's see but first off, you're going to have to come out of your head. You're going to have to come out of the... Come out of the being stuck. Don't be stuck. This is saying your spirit guides are saying, or your, the spirit that you're asking about is saying, don't be stuck. We don't want you to be stuck. 
And there's something else here for you, pile threes, pile threes, pile threes. But you're gonna have to put in work. I'm talking to those emperors and empresses, leaders, priestesses, you know, pre preach, it's saying preach, right? Preach your truth. You're gonna have to put in work. So this journey of yours might not be smooth sailing, this is saying, but it's gonna be worth in the long run. Because we have nine of nine of wands here, it's saying you're not too far off, but there is still work for you to do. And you might have noticed that in your life, you had to fight for things or things didn't come to you as easily. Hence why, you gotta be a leader. Leaders don't have it easy. Leaders go for a lot of things. So every time you've thrown this uh, challenge of any sorts or you screw up, you fail or do whatever that goes against your ego, understand that this is another tick in the book. And there are only a certain amount of ticks that you have to. Wait, I'm getting a vision, sorry. I'm a bit spaced out for pile three. Some of you actually have, have some things already written down. I'm seeing. I want this, I want that, I want that. So if you're not sure of where that leadership stands for you in your life, write down three things that make you happy. But don't come from ego, you know, spending my money easily or da da da. No, don't, don't write down things like that or, um, or having a, let's say, um, a pretty boyfriend or pretty husband or whatever it is. You know where I'm, where I'm getting here. Write down three things that make you happy the most and you might want to put it under, under a, a crystal or under an accessory mirroring of some sort that means a lot to you. And throughout one month, I'm seeing, you'll be much clearer about your path or your powers as a leader will become much more heightened. Who pile number three, really strong energy here. I truly love doing this reading for you. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Hello, pile number fours. Let's take a look at what's up we'll start with channeling before we get into your cards so let me get into your energies here i'm getting references to cycling what that tells me here is that some of you might be drawn to certain activities or might be drawn to certain hobbies or physical activities here that would be very beneficial for you. Specifically for some of you, you're being pulled towards the health sector. You want to heal or someone's body or someone's soul, I'm hearing. So you might you might find yourself um, interested in the physique, in what's happening internally, right? Um, in a lot of things that do relate to one's well-being. And it can be uh, emotional, spiritual, or physical well-being. Um, you have a lot of healing energies about you. And I think that's something for you to take a look at, pile number four. What Spirit is saying, you have to create, um, seek for life that brings you peace. And I think you're very free-spirited or you're seeking for some kind of freedom. So you might want to travel more often than other people do or you might want to just, you might envision yourself as living in a hut somewhere 
um, in the middle of the forest or on the beach. You just have that vibe about you that is very peaceful and it's very wonderful. Mm, I really love this vibe. You're being encouraged pile number four is to um, meditate a little bit more if you have never meditated. Um, this is saying try that out. It's going to give you a lot. I think you'll pick up a lot of information and messages. Um, for meditation specifically, this is saying if you want to connect to a specific spirit or force. Let me have a sip of water and we're gonna move on. Pile number four. Let's see what's up. Where should you be headed? What kind of energies? What kind of vibrations? Well, thank you very much, guys, on the floor. Okay, sorry about that. I'm sorry about the light because I didn't expect sun to shine. The first half of the day, it wasn't there. So I set everything up. And the minute I sat down, the sun came out, which I truly love. I can't complain. You were pressing your healing abilities or your powers. Uh, pile number four, I think it's time it's saying here for it to come out a bit more. It's time to pay a bit more attention or it's time to train it. Okay. Train yourself, pile number four. You're not allowing your... It's saying... They're saying that you're not allowing your truest potential to shine. Make sense? You're not allowing your truest self with your flaws, the way you are, just literally who you are. I don't think that a lot of people get to see that part of you. And it's saying it's time to show that part of you here, pile number four. Is. And I'm hearing... How can a person like this be hidden underneath all these layers? So it's saying un uncover the veil. In, by uncovering yourself, not only that you will allow other people to see the true uniqueness that you hold, but also you're going to see the world from a different light because what you'll give out is what you'll give back. get back. And I think you don't understand how true, truly unique you are you might be wanting to dim your light in order to fit in or in order to see to not be visible as much because you don't want as much attention it's something about that here pile number four is one second The spirit is saying you're holding the vision of some sorts, but you it seems like you don't maybe believe in it as much as you should. It's saying keep holding your vision clear because this is something that you've done in your past lives. And we had a similar message for other pile that came through. Sorry, I know the sun is not helping. It's not helping. This is saying, in order for you to be happy in this lifetime, you're going to have to be courageous. In order for you to be happy, you're going to have to show your true self out there to people. And let's take a look at, I think I don't want to talk too much um, about things like that for pile number two because you know everything already. And what I'm being told to look at is your future straight away. Why are cards flying for pile number four? What is going on? Okay, let's start over. I'm hearing it's because of someone's dad or because of someone's 
father image. So maybe you were asking us a specific question, but this is literally for one or two of you here. It's saying you have to allow yourself to feel uninspired sometimes and be okay with it. You're going to have to allow yourself to feel like shit sometimes and not to feel guilty about it because this is saying this is part of human nature. Uh, you wake up one day and you just feel very down or you feel very... You don't, you don't feel light, right? And it's saying it's fine sometimes to feel that way and I'm getting shivers as I'm talking. But it's saying, and meanwhile, when you in in um in energy like this, do not put walls up so you can't see the opportunities coming your way, because these might be your tests on the way, where you feel like crap one day, but then you get an offer, but because you 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 feel like crap, you don't wanna see throat. <clears throat> Communication. I was about to say you don't want to communicate with someone in my eyes of water. You know? So it's saying don't build walls up so high that you block off the opportunities coming your way while you're in a really bad mood. So always have yourself a bit open even if you feel like you don't want to talk. So if you have your phone next to you, um, at least scroll through those messages and see if there's anything out there that's important, right? That's that. Oh, your throat chakra. So speak up, speak up. It's all about you guys letting yourself be seen. Speak up, like communicate with people. Okay, what the spirit wants to tell you guys, you gotta let your burdens go and those burdens are not yours so whatever you're carrying on your shoulders that feels super heavy sometimes it's saying let it go this is not yours so you might be taking too much from other people and you're not spending enough time while caring for yourself I'm hearing cut the chains. There's going to be a time when you'll cut your chains off. And you'll come out there in the world. So just before you free yourself from whatever that burden is for you, you'll have this period of stagnancy, this is saying. So don't be afraid of that period of stagnancy because it will be given to you for a reason. You have to be seen, guys. We have the world. I mean, my page of cups is all about, you know, travel here too in this deck in particular. It's saying you have to be seen. So, and I'm hearing, what have you done today to make yourself proud? So I think that could be your, I don't know, phrase that you look at the moment when, the moment you feel very low or down. So that's going to spark you up literally a little bit and make you feel feel a, a little bit more lighter because you'll be like okay actually I've been in this phase throughout this amount of time and I really haven't done anything to uplift my my mood someone is really in a I think in a heavy energy here or someone just came out of it but you guys you have to be visible for who you are for the world and you're gonna have to find it in this lifetime okay and it might include you taking a completely new path um, or going to a new place let yourself be seen you will create some kind of business spirit saying or concentrate on creating one right now 
um, lay, lay those bricks, you know, I'm seeing the vision, someone laying bricks, lay those bricks for your business or for some kind of independence. So for you, your goal plan number four and your focus in this lifetime seems like is about being independent from pers a specific person or being independent financially, okay? You do have a lot of good entrepreneurial vibes about you and it seems like whatever you create will have an impact to your surroundings. But you have to aim for freedom and independence plan number four and that's what will be happening for you in the future. But you're going to have to cut those chains that are holding you back or um, cut that feeling of not good enough out because, believe me, you don't see it. You just don't see it. It's like you don't let yourself out there in the world, you know? So start doing something that makes you happy here. It seems like you might be a little bit defensive when it comes to showing your true light. And I get it. It might be sometimes people are afraid, especially in pattern before. You are afraid of your own success and you're going to have to come out of it. And it's a hidden fear. It's a subconscious fear that a lot of people don't realize so you you being held back by your own belief system the spirit is saying here and you're gonna have to stop fighting it off why is this music so annoying now give me a chill vibe okay mm -mm. okay wait Okay, fine. A lot of travel here. A lot of travel in the future, what I'm seeing here. I think you're working with angels. It seems like um, angelic. I feel like angelic vibe it surrounds you. So, if you feel like you are unsupported, think twice. Okay, the, okay, the, the main thing for pile number four is you're going to have to... You should know that whatever that independence is for you, specifically business for some of you, really strong... Uh, coming through here is something that will make you feel truly happy and you'll get there. You'll get there, but you're going to have to start fighting off your own success because you're a little bit scared about something, scared of, some, scared of something. There are some past chains holding you back saying cut it off, go for your success. It's not too far away. You're longing for that success. It's not, not too far away from you, but it seems like you sometimes might be stuck into the phase of wondering, in the phase of wondering and thinking how, what, when, where, and you might be unmotivated. It's saying you're going to have to find that motivation yourself, unfortunately. Uh, but once you do, is when you'll truly have this grasp of what's the next step. So... I'm seeing like an engine, you know, you get that spark and then through that spark, using that spark, you can have amazing experiences, but also take yourself as far as you want to go. And for some of you, I think you might want to move to a different place or you want to create a much better or much more beautiful home environment. Some of you specifically are very much into interior here and I think you want to create your own space that is wonderful for you. And this is saying that's achievable, but you're going to have to spark yourself up, okay? we It's like the spirit is waiting for you to take the first step. And then we're going to lead you, I'm hearing. And then we're going to lead you. But you won't have to rely on the universe or your guides or whatever it is that you're 
think of to push you towards the right directions because you are the one who should the first who should make the first step. And after that, you're going to be very I'm hearing diversity. You're going to have a very diverse lifestyle even here, pile number fours. I feel like for some of you, I'm hearing professor. Some of you maybe wants to be a teacher or travel expert. That was super strange. Whatever the case here for you guys, it's saying allow yourself to feel like crap sometimes and don't feel like you are guilty for not doing enough or for feeling bad or not um, seeing that light that we, everyone is aiming for. Do not diminish your darkness because it's part of the human nature. But also note down when you feel pity rather than just uninspired or tired those days because these are two differences here. So one is okay and one is it's okay to feel through it and when pitiness steps in that's when you are keeping your own life stagnant because of your own actions so there is something about this energy here where it seems like you need someone is a little kick in the ass in order to start this new project or new path or start something that is it's nearly like it's nearly there you can reach it with your hand but Maybe sometimes you don't feel like you want to and you kept yourself there for too long. So move out of the uh, old belief system this is saying because there's, there's the whole world out there waiting for your entrepreneurial skills and waiting for your, and waiting for your knowledge with the king of swords here. I truly hope this made sense by number four. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.